Hey, what's up? So let's now continue by creating selectors. But before that, let me just commit that. So, sorry, I uh, will just come here and you know, so get add everything commit vid five. Okay. So let me now export some selectors from the likes. Let's work on the likes. So like we did here. So export const likes selectors will be equal to likes adapter dot get selector. Remember this will reference the whole state. Then we'll return the state dot comments dot likes. So comments will reference this state we have here, the initial state, or the state that is referenced by the comments. This one here that we define, <laughs> and we will access likes. So everything inside these selectors will work on the likes from the reducer itself, from the sorry, from the state itself, the nested state here. Okay. So let's now test it. So let's go to comments and let's just use these. So all likes, all nested likes, we will use the likes selector dot select dot select all. And let's just console log that. I think it's that's easy. So refresh. We should see first time it's zero because we are waiting for the response. Now it's saying these are the nested likes. As you can see, we have the suffix side of it. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. So I should have showed you this in the previous video. I thought it will take much more uh, time, but it's as simple as that. And everything else will work the same. But if you need to nest your adapters, this is how you do it. Maybe it's a little bit hard, I'm not, I mean, I think the code looks confusing, but if you split these into multiple files, for example, a file for extra reducers, a file for these reducers, and a file for adapters, it will be simpler. And of course, a file for thunks, these actually takes a lot of space. Uh, but yeah, I think I think you can do it. It's, it's very fine, it's very easy. But the last thing I will show you is the console table. And refresh, you'll see a table of all the objects you have. Uh, I don't know, I think that's cool, but maybe this will work on arrays better on all our objects in a different way But yeah, that's something I just wanted to show you and this actually works in node I think 10 and above in the console But uh, yeah, anyway, I think that's it for this series if I missed anything or if there is something interesting I want you want me to cover uh, please tell me and let's just end this by uh, Committing so get add commit get six and there is actually a, a repo for this I'll put a link in the description for it and uh, that's it and if you have any idea for Pollux if you liked it or yeah please tell me I am um, yeah I, yeah I can do anything actually you can save some data or you can save the stuff that you so I can save these okay I save them now hit refresh they are not here, but you can load everything you save. So as you can see, I have a lot of stuff that I saved. These are the likes we created. And you can actually generate, I think, up to 10,000, and it won't be that. So these like, it won't be that slow. And everything here runs on the front end, so no back end at all, which is very nice. Yeah, anyway, um, thank you, and bye-bye. Uh,